Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about priorities and to-do lists because when you're your own boss it can be really awkward knowing what to prioritise. And there almost certainly aren't enough hours in the day to do everything, especially when you're not just the boss but probably the sole employee of your business as well. So how can you make sure that the important stuff gets done and preferably done something close to on time? And to-do lists are one option personally. I don't particularly like them, as for me at least, I find that more things appear on them than get crossed off, so I end up with a huge long sheet of paper, because it usually is a sheet of paper for me, and I can't always read by writing, and of if I had ten things I might cross one off, maybe. But they can be quite good for making sure that small things happen, but for major items, personally, I find that they're less useful. You might be different, but everyone is different in that respect, so see how you get on. But one way to get over that is to have a relatively short list of things that really, really need to get done. Revamp your website, create more content, do more promotion, that kind of thing. And then have a separate do this today list that has shorter tasks can actually be completed today because there's quite a lot of satisfaction in being able to say, actually, I got, I got that done. Um, so if your main task was creating content, you might decide to split it down something like this. Decide on the topics, remembering not to use that as an excuse to procrastinate forever. Pick one of those topics, the one that appeals to you most, probably the one you first found, so you can stop there, and decide on some top subtopics. Write content for a specific amount of time, even if the piece isn't finished in that time. So if you've got an hour, spend an hour. Then stop writing mid-sentence, mid-paragraph, cliffhanger. It's a technique I learned recently, and it works because our minds generally hate things that are incomplete. So stopping part way, as if the buzzer were gone off on that quiz show you used to watch, accomplishes this neatly because you've stopped, but you started so you need to finish. So you, when you pick it up, you might have been nagging you to pick it back up. So it's a good way to actually keep yourself from procrastinating on it. And you can do the same kind of list for any big task on your to-do list because every big task is just an amalgamation of lots of smaller tasks. So you can have a master to-do list, and that can work. Sort of, These are the things I'm going to do this year, a bit like New Year's resolutions, but ones are actually going to get done. Pick an item from it and work on that for a few days or weeks until it's finished as your main task. One snag, though, a lot of people find is working out the priority of the things on their list, because it's tempting to mark everything as number one priority. But when you do that, the effect is for nothing to stand out, and assuming you're human, there's a good chance you'll just pick off the easier tasks so after you've marked them all as top priority, they must be important. And then you need to go back through, spend more time, and work out which ones really are worth spending your time on today. And you can get over that using an important urgent matrix. That can really help to overcome it. Search it for Google, you'll have lots and lots of explanations, maybe better than mine, but you'll get the idea from this. And there's lots of images so you can see how to do it. Basically, use a piece of paper, it works better with a piece of paper, you can do it with a spreadsheet, but I found a piece of paper actually makes it more visual and makes it more real. Uh, split it into four segments, so it looks as though you've drawn just a giant plus sign on it. Label the top two columns urgent and not urgent, and the side two rows important and not important. Then assign your to-do lists to one of those boxes. Get this as right as you can, but go with your first instinct on each task because it probably is right. Then you go your priority list. Anything in the urgent important box is high priority by definition. Anything in the not urgent, not important box can pretty much safely be left undone, maybe for the whole of this lifetime. And another way that people use to sort out the priorities is pick just one thing to focus on for the day or the week or until it's finished. Again, not something I've personally used, but I know quite a few people who do it very, very successfully. And there's a book called The One Thing that goes into the idea in a lot more depth, obviously, because it's a book, not a throwaway line on a video. And check it out on Amazon and use the Look Inside feature to decide whether it's an idea that will work for you. Look Inside is always quite a good way of deciding whether a book is... It's worth it. It's the equivalent of browsing in an old-fashioned bookshop. That's why Amazon did it. It helps their sales as well. So well, that's another reason they've done it. But the big thing with all these methods is to actually do something. It's all well and good having a list of things to do, but if that's all it is, a list quietly nagging you somewhere or getting slowly buried on your desk or ignored or out of date and if it's paper curled up and yellowed, 
then it's not much use. Far better to take action on your list, even if it's incomplete. Set aside some time each day to work on your internet marketing business, even if it's something as seemingly small as an hour a day. That, that can work really, really nicely, especially if it's focused. And it's generally thought that a lot of people who work eight hours a day in offices don't actually spend much more than an hour on productive work. Because there's meetings, there's reports, there's checking and answering emails, standing by the coffee machine or the water cooler and passing the time of day with other people, phone calls, all the other things that happen in office life that take up most of your time. So even if an hour seems far too short a time to make a difference, do it regularly and you'll be really pleasantly surprised how much it mounts up. For instance, if I spend an hour in my internet marketing, I could, and or you could, write upwards of a thousand words of content. For me, it's probably actually nearer 1,200, 1,400 words, depending on how fast I'm tapping away. Do that for four or five days, and you've got some massive content on your pages. Um, leave it a month or two to stew, and Google will eventually wake up to the fact you've got it and reward you for it. Or you could create a slideshow video like this one. It takes me maybe 40 minutes to write the content, because I prefer to have the content on screen to read or ad-lib from, 10 more minutes to record it, another 10 to upload and do all the behind the scenes tasks to actually get it live. Stuff that you always think, oh, I can do that in a minute and yeah, okay. You can add useful replies to forums and Facebook groups, taking care not to get sidetracked and thinking you're being productive when you're not. We could outsource some simple tasks on Fiverr to get them off that main to-do list and Fiverr is useful for the, the really easy tasks, the things that you you know deep down you could probably do, but you probably won't. So spend a bit of time on your to-do lists and prioritising them in a way that works for you, and then make sure you do the really important part, actually doing something towards your internet marketing business. You can have all the plans and ideas in the world, but if they stay as that, you know further ahead. So do something, even if it's not perfect, and to be honest it never will be perfect anyway. And if you'd like more practical, real-world help with your internet marketing, Join my list by clicking the link below this video. I promise I won't spam you, I won't send you all sorts of, I will send you promotions, but not every single day, and there will be lots of actionable, useful stuff like this. So I'd love you to join me, so click that link if you want to. And thanks for watching.